In correlation, there is also what we call coefficient of determination, which is COD. Yeah, and co coefficient of determination, it refers to the amount of variation in the dependent variable that is brought about by changes in the independent variable. An example, like the examples of variables, or the dependent and the independent variables, the best example can be class attendance and then performance. Performance depends on class attendance. So, coefficient of determination, it looks at the amount of variation in the dependent variable. Here, the dependent variable we have, the dependent variable that we have is performance that is brought about by the changes in the independent variable. The independent variable is the attendance. So if your attendance in class declines, the higher chances that even your performance will decline. So it, it looks at the amount of variation, like how much like how much does it affect how much does attendance affect your performance? If you if you do not attend class, it does not mean that you will fail. You you you, you can refuse to attend class and you you read from home and then pass. But if you so that the there are also other factors that affect what? Performance. You 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 can attend class but when you don't read, of course you will not pass. Yeah, so it looks at how much that how much variation in the dependent variable is caused by the changes in the independent variable. Yeah, so I don't know whether you get it, but it is the best way I can explain it. For example, how does your performance change if you stop attending class? How much does it change? Like, will, will, will you get retakes or what? Something like that. So, we are going to look at how to calculate for the coefficient of determination. The, the, the formula is R squared times 100. Uh, we, we are going to use the previous example. The previous example that we use to calculate for correlation using the Pearson's method. And in that example, our error was 0 0.96. So, in order for us to calculate the coefficient of determination, we get R squared, which is, our R is 0 0.96. So, 0 0.96 squared times 100. Yeah, and we get 0 0.9216 then times 100. We get 92. 0.16. So it means that 92.16 changes in sales are caused by the changes in advertising expenditure. Because in our previous question, we had two variables, and that was sales as the dependent variable and advertising expenditure as the independent variable. So 92% of the changes in sales are caused by the changes in advertising expenditure. So if the advertising expenditure increases, it means that even the sales will also increase by 92%. But the remaining percentage is caused about by other factors. So you, 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 you get 100 minus this, which is 7.84 of the changes in sales are caused about by other factors because it's not only advertising that affects sales. The other things like customer care, delivery, and other things, the quality of the products, all that. So, the 7.84% of the changes in sales are caused by other factors, but the 92% are caused by the changes in advertising expenditure. We can see it from here. Advertising expenditure here, it was 15, and sales were 28. And when it, it, it increased from 15 to 30, even the sales increased from 28 to 37. 
when it, it increased to 31 even the cells increased to 42 when it increased to 40 even the cells increased to 45 when it reduced to 17 even the cells reduced to 24 when it increased to 39 even cells increased to 50 when it reduced to 24 even cells reduced to 32 and when it reduced to 25 when it increased to 25 even cells increased to 35 so 92 percent of the changes in cells are caused about by the changes in advertising expenditure according to this question so that is how we calculate for the coefficient of determination thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like comment share with your friends let's uh, let's catch up in my next video shall be looking at another method yeah for correlation